Joining me now is Wyoming Senator John Barrasso. Dr. Barrasso, he is uh, with us. We have sparred time and time again in a polite and respectful way on this fun. issue. All right, Senator, the bottom line, it appears that we are going to have a public option. Would you surrender that tonight based on what Senator Reid said today? Absolutely not. We'll have to wait and see the bill. You know, I saw him quoting those numbers about the overwhelming support around the country. Overwhelming Rasmussen poll this weekend. People are opposed to any of this health care reform that he's trying to push down the, the throats of the American people that's going to raise the cost of care, going to make care less available and less of, a, less of a quality. So this is not a good plan, and the American people get it. Well, Senator, then you must go along with the opt-out, because now there's going to be governors involved, there's going to be state legislators involved in House and Senate, how it works out, uh, whether it's a unicameral or whatever it is in some states. Uh, here, here's, here's the question. How could you not go along with that? Because now I'd like to have a people to have, be able to opt out of all of it, opt out of the, the Medicaid requirements that are going to be in it, opt out of the increased taxes, opt out of the cuts in Medicare. I'd love to have states have an opportunity to opt out of the entire thing, not just the government-run insurance program. But the but, American you know, Harry people Reed want hasn't this, even Senator. made this bill available to the own, his own members. He's going to share it with them tomorrow at lunch. The American people want to, want to see what's in this thousand-page bill that's going to cost over a trillion dollars and cut five. $500 billion for Medicare. First of all, you don't know taxes. it's going to cost. Wait a minute, Senator. You don't know if it's going to cost a trillion because the CBO hasn't scored it yet. And the CBO did score the don't one in the, the House American and it, and it came, it came it under cost? budget. It came under budget on the House side and there's a very good chance that this one is going to come under budget as well from what the president has put out there. But under I, budget I'm, meaning cut, what, less than $500 billion from seniors? I was at a rehab hospital talking to seniors this weekend in Wyoming. American seniors are scared to death that all all this money is going to come away from their Medicare program to start a whole new program, and this is money that was designed for the seniors. So you think that Wyoming would opt out of this, that no one in Wyoming would want a public option, and if it were to go to a vote, that Wyoming would be a state that wouldn't want anything to do with this? They'd want to be able to opt out of the taxes, the Medicare cuts, the, the uh, unfunded mandate of Medicaid, as well as this government-run insurance program. They like to opt out of the well, whole thing, have and, they have that, pay, and they don't want to have to pay for other states that want to be part of it either. Senator, they're going to have a chance to do that. This, this could we'll be the... see the bill. I'd like to see if they can really opt out of the whole thing or if it's just going to do the, with the government-run program. But okay. I think they want, to get op they want to opt out of the Medicare cuts and the Medicaid mandates. Senator, you know you're behind the curve on this one. You know there's going to be a public nope. option. You know where the majority of the American people are. And the, yet the Republican Party the, is the still against of people, all of this. The majority of the American people, Ed, in the Rasmussen <laughs> poll this weekend are Rasmussen against the poll. whole thing. Rasmussen. Rasmussen. The Come thing. on, John. Come There's the rest poll after poll. <laughs> poll against the whole uh, thing. And you know, on, the, on this, this government-run insurance, polls are on different sides of this. You take okay. enough polls, you can see the numbers. The, the, well, the I guess you'll have to work on clear. winning some elections the, then because the, you don't have enough people that's going to stop this. The American people are clear. If this goes through, the cost of their own care is going to go up and the quality of their care is going to go down. Senator, and let me tell you something. The cost the is going to go up whether it's a public option or not. This is about pre-existing conditions. Wasn't this supposed this, this to is cut about, the cost are, are you, of care? Are, let me ask you this. Wasn't this supposed to cut the cost of care? I mean, wasn't that the premise that the president it's said we'll get the cost It's going to cut the control? cost of care. You I can't believe, Senator, up, that you were still locked on to these ridiculous bullet points <laughs> from Frank <laughs> Lutz. I'm a physician. Why do you have I've such a defeatist attitude patients, about health care reform? People who want to make sure we can help <laughs> our seniors stay healthy and uh, keep down the cost of their care. Senator, I cannot believe you have such a defeatist attitude towards <laughs> reform and you have just we absolutely need reform, walked Ed. We don't need this reform. We need step-by-step okay. step incremental right. improvements, and there's a lot we can do okay. to increase competition to give people... More patient There's not going to be increased competition under your plan. You know there isn't. Senator, I think people good to have be you able on. To buy, buy insurance across state lines. Hey, I, thanks, Ed. I think it's good very interesting you. that uh, you still won't capitulate to what the American people want. I appreciate your time. We'll I always get to together. I listen to him every weekend at home. All right, thank you.